Hey guys, looks like it's beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Trillium Brewing, and you know what that means. This is probably going to be an exceptional beer. Those guys don't do anything but exceptional beers. I don't think I've had a beer beer from those guys. I think everything that I've got uh, that's been sent to me is, uh, has been an outstanding beer. Uh, this was sent to me by Greg, so Greg, thanks a bunch for sending it to me. Uh, it's nice to have uh, somebody that can get their hands on these without having to trade for them and do jump through hoops. Uh, probably had to stand in line anyway, uh, from what I hear up there. Because everything, uh, they don't go out of the brewery. I mean, uh, they don't go to any stores or, or distribution warehouses. Everything's sold out of the brewery and it all goes immediately. Uh, I don't think they... Uh, uh, they have any left. Uh, once they turn it loose, it usually disappears that day from what I hear. So, uh, This is a, a double or imperial IPA commercial description. This is an 8 percenter too. Uh, the IBUs on this one, it doesn't have an all right beer beer advocate untapped. It doesn't have it either. So we don't know what the IBUs are on this beer. Commercial description said the first double IPA produced at our Canton Brewery featuring four powerful aromatic hot varieties. Galaxy, Mosaic, Nelson's, Sovereign, and Columbus scaled up amidst dank, spicy aromas that lead into fruity, citrusy flavors of peach and orange on the palate. Lighter in body than most of our double other double IPAs. Scaled up, finishes dry and smooth with a pl pleasant bitterness. Eight percenter, the moths are Pilsner, white, wheat, flaked, uh, wheat, flaked wheat. Dextrine, Dextro C15, Hops are Galaxy, Mosaic, Nelson Sauvin, and Columbus. Uh, batch 1 was released on December 17th of 2015. Batch 2 was released on January 8th of 2016. So I've got a feeling this one is probably batch number 3. Uh, this says 10, 4, 16. Must go faster, what it's got written underneath there. So evidently this is batch number 3. Uh, this is the 17th of November. And it was done on the 4th of October, so uh, about five weeks or so old. Uh, it ought to be pretty tasty. And these guys do the plain Jane silver cans with a stick on wrap around a label. They're putting their money and their effort in what's inside the can instead of paying for a lot of fancy graphics. I can dig it. I can dig it. All right, uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. So while I am pouring, I'll just tell you guys cuisine is barbecue. Cheeses of pepper, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses. The meat for this is game, grilled meat, and salmon. Glassware is a snifter, tulip, oversized wine glass. And, of course, it's 8%, so it says here on Bear Advocate, you can sell it, but don't do that. That'd be, that'd be a crime shame, I say. You'd regret it. Uh, about a half a finger of head on there, boy, that looks just like orange juice in the glass. Wow. Maybe just a tad darker than orange juice. Oh, it is so cloudy. It looks like it's going to be delicious. And I can smell the hops already. Wow. Let's get a nose on it. Wow. Unbelievable. Very citrusy. Heavy tropical fruit notes. Mango. I'm getting peaches and oranges and tangerines and grapefruit. And pineapple. Wow. Oh, it's time. Let's get it on. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg.
unbelievable delicious guys. If I finally lived in the vicinity of that brewery, I would be there so often they'd know me by name and I would probably have a reserved parking place out in the parking lot. No doubt. Unbelievable. Wow. Incredible. Unbelievable. Outstanding. Wow. Until I got my hands on some of these Trillium and Treehouse beers, I don't think I knew what a double IPA tastes like. I mean, now this is actually blows away, in my opinion, as far as being an unfiltered beer. Uh, the Stone and Joy Vibe. Now, they are doing some unfiltered versions of that now. But, man, my scale goes to 10. And if it went to 11, more than likely... That's where these beers would end up. They're outstanding. Anytime I get a beer mail package and it's got something from Treehouse or Trillium in there, I get excited as a five-year-old on Christmas because I know what they're going to bring. Wow. Delicious, delicious, delicious. All right, guys, we're going to let it warm up a little bit and give her a sip and then pry it out of her hands because that's what I'll have to do on these beers. Uh, once I give it to her, she... Just kind of possessive, and I'm not gonna let that happen. She'll take a sip two or three, and I gotta have it back. All right, I'll be back, guys. Let me step on this a little bit, and we'll see where it ends up. But I got a feeling I know where it's gonna be. Hey, guys, I'm back. Uh, I've been sitting on about 30 minutes. Awesome, freaking awesome. Uh, nice dankness to the beer, oranges, tangerines, grapefruit, hints of pine and pineapple, uh, peaches. Very delicious. I mean, it's outstanding. Greg, once again, my friend, thanks a bunch for sending the beers that you did send. The Trillium beers, uh, when I open those packages and I see three House of Trillium, I get excited. Makes this, makes this old man smile because I know what I'm going to get when I pour it into the glass. Final cup. You guys up there in Boston, Massachusetts, if you haven't been to the brewery, you need to go if you're a hophead. You are missing out. Like I said, if I lived in that vicinity, I'd have a reserved parking place in the parking lot. I'd be there so often. It's a 10, guys. There's no doubt about it. It's a 10. It is outstanding. It's world class. Brought my hair back, my socks off, all that kind of stuff. So, outstanding beer. Very very delicious beer. Wow. Incredible. Uh, like I said, 10 for me, guys. Uh, 100. Over to uh, Beer Advocate has it at 97, world class. And Rate Beer has it at 100. And uh, overall, 99 in the style. And for our final check-in, we'll go over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 4.43. That's about as good as those numbers get over there. So that is a that is a 10 beer in their scale because I've never seen a five, five stars on any beer whatsoever. So, uh, uh, and, and they base this on everybody that's commented and rated it. So, uh, they average it all out and that's what it ends up being because there are some people who probably didn't like the beer for some reason. They weren't hop heads or whatever. Uh, I don't know why uh, the ratings don't get much better than that. Uh, if, if you drink this beer and you didn't like it, you shouldn't be drinking double IPA. You probably shouldn't be drinking IPAs if it wasn't a 10 beer to you. That's the way I feel about it. Just my two cents. Just my opinion. Uh, if this doesn't blow your hair back, I, don't, I can't think of anything that's going to. So, uh, if you've had this one from Trillium, this is their Scaled Up Imperial or Double IPA. Let me know what you think, guys. There are people that they are dying to get their hands on this beer. So, uh, Wow, outstanding. Loved it. Thanks, Greg. I do appreciate it. Hey, guys, come on back tomorrow. Let's go see what's in the fridge. See you then.